and we get our recovery back up. So yeah, how many of you guys have actually heard of this area before this? I was amazed that today was the first time I had ever heard of it. They, I assume this is a area that was added quite recently for that reason. And the fact that no one has been here both times and the fact that it's actually a pretty great spot to task and I don't know. Just seems strange. Because I think this is this character's new favorite hunting spot for now. And I'm going to pop back down there and see if the frost dragon is back. And of course he is, so yeah, this is a really nice, um, I like this, just going back and forth and checking the frost, and then killing everything around it, and then going to the other frost. That would probably be my suggestion for hunting here. Um, seems to work well for me. And Xani her up, the Tanny her. I do want to see if there's anywhere else that I should explore. Okay, I'm going to check the southeast just for fun. And switch to the Crystal Spider because we know we were going to take out that Ice Golem with a nice front sweep. Oh, and this BP of gold has to almost be full. Yep, very close. Alright, so just used Exori just to get rid of him as quick as possible with all these witches causing uh, mayhem. And want to grab that for sure. And then we're going to haste and get on to the one witch. And she is going down. And as are these ones. Hitting her. Get off. Ooh, nice. Trap. This is going to trap him. If she even makes it over there. Nope, she's not going <laughs> to. And. Oh, boy. I see what I have to do. Ooh, that hurt. But it was still fun, so. Whatever. All right, let's see. I need to Utora because definitely low on health. And we get a Mystic Turban, so for those of you who don't know, you can turn that into a blue piece of cloth. Otherwise, it's pretty much just junk. Uh, anything else that I couldn't grab? Okay. Nope. And we're going to check on this side now. Yeah. Alright. Ice Golem respawned, it looks like. So we'll take him out as we're continuing to the east here. Uh, I'm super curious as to when this came out, so uh, if you guys do know, well, uh, for sure tell me in the comments, but if you had never heard of this area before seeing this video, also let me know that because I was amazed that there was an uh, an area that I had never heard of just because I like to stay informed even if it's not an area I would want to go to for any reason I like to know it exists Fuck yeah. like Michael Jackson alright come on get another front sweep and there we go that Nice front sweep, doing some pretty heavy damage. And get another one off. So those front sweeps have been like so, so crucial. Uh, dealing really heavy amounts of damage. And it's going to be great once I get Fierce Berserk and don't have to aim it in a certain direction. So 
Alright, let's see, did I get all of them? Nope. And the phone is ringing, but I'm not sure who it is. Okay, it's nothing to do with me, so I'm not worried. Ooh, and I shouldn't have used it then. That was actually a huge waste of mana, but... Um, I'm going to pop on my Ring of Healing just to get a little bit of increased mana region and health region. And, of course, the Pain in the Ass Ice Witch is going to pop up. Now, if you're on a sorcerer or a druid, that's actually not a pain in the ass. You can just start thunderstorming and get some extra experience. So, God damn it! Sorry, guys. I hate that. I turned it off. And it's just like, no, we're not going to be off. Uh, you can turn the volume off, but <laughs> that's not going to make a difference. Oh, fuck. I hate when I miss with those. Night legs. Sweet. Uh, the only thing that could have been better than that would have been a sapphire hammer or a jeweled backpack. But So, cool. Night legs, a mystic turban, uh, spider silk. Uh, over 6k in gold, so definitely doing really good down here. And I'm not to my surprise either. I had a feeling this would be a really nice area as soon as I saw it on wiki, and then when I saw how it was laid out when I got here, I started to really like it. Alright, come around that corner. Eh, nah, we're just gonna bum rush her. All right, into the corner she goes. And nice, turned around as she walked up, got a nice front sweep off. Uh, that was pretty skillful placement if I do say so myself. All right. Um, I'm not sure what's down in this one, I'm guessing it's Probably just a hatchling, unfortunately, but we'll check anyway. Oh, okay. It looks like I have to find another way down, which is fine by me. And front sweep, Exori. And it, that one's down, so. Very easy. Sorcerers, if you are going to hunt here, uh, and druids, don't forget to bring energy walls because there is a lot of them. Yeah. And I don't know. That could be very dangerous for you. And no, we have found another frost dragon. Awesome. I was assuming it was just going to be a hatchling, but... So this is the third frost dragon spot we found. So, yeah, it seems like it's just going to be a good idea to do laps around the uh, frost dragon areas and just kill everything on them. Is this a frost dragon one? Hmm. So there's several more holes that I haven't been down in yet. And I think I have to go up here. Okay, I see. There we go. And we're going to mark this to let us know that there is a frost dragon down there. And see if we can get the perfect routine. Alright. So two crystals. We're going to deal with them before we deal with the ice witch, obviously. And that one goes down pretty quick, as it looks like this one's going to. Ooh, another spider silk. That's nice. But first, uh, since she walked into me and locked into the um, 
mode where, yep, there we go, just this mode where when they walk next to you, they can't walk out of it, they can't just run, they have to keep moving one step away as long as you continue to make yourself one step away. It's so ridiculous. Uh, a very nice, very nice thing. And there's the silk. And this BP's got to be full almost too. Okay, so that's full. So we're going to have to start throwing gold in the main backpack as we have nowhere else to put it. And I'm going to check to the southeast. Got the crystal. And another one coming. And so one more Exorian, the one on the, ooh, that one's close to being down, but not quite. And I think we just got another spider silk. Yep, that's the third spider silk. So that is really nice. Um, they're worth quite a bit, actually. So, like I said, I think they're worth 3 to 5k on my world now. I don't know the exact amount, but hey, that's fine by me, definitely. Um, certainly a good spot to come. And actually, I'm going to do something I should have a while ago after my Utura runs up. That way I can cast it again. Okay. Um, crystal spiders, almost halfway. Ice golems, only 79 more. So, yeah, I mean, in a hunt or two, I'll pretty much be done with those tasks, which is really cool. Alright, so, this is a little uncomfortable. But, we do that, and, uh, Make short work of our enemies. Get another nice front sweep in there. And crystal swords, uh, it sucks because crystal swords are too heavy for how much they're worth. So you're better off carrying gold than picking up that. It's just one of those shitty items. And, wow, that was a fast respawn. And nice, good hits back to back, and then a somewhat shitty hit and decent hit. Oh, so really looking forward to level 90. That is going to be prime time for this character, and I don't remember going down here, so... Nice, another frost dragon one. Holy shit, I've been getting super lucky and actually finding the ones with the frost and not the hatchlings. And just crushing him. Got him to run already. Yeah, I can see why knights hunt frost when they're higher levels. It's They're quite easy for knights. For whatever reason. Alright. Putting a life ring on instead of a ring of healing. Only got one left, so we'll conserve that. And I'm down to 65 manas. Wow, I didn't even realize that. That's like dangerously low. Um, so I'm going to start making my way back toward the center. For sure. And let off a nice little Exori to deal damage to both of them. And nice, 230, nice heavy hit. And of course the Eco does absolutely shit damage for some reason. But that's okay, and... Taking out the witch. Three witches, it looks like. I figured that would finish her, but... Okay, that one just got locked into the pattern that I was talking about earlier. See, uh, since she's touched me, as long as I stand next to her, she... <laughs> there we go. Yep, this one's locked in. And dead. <laughs> It's so funny how mage creatures just become so simple once you can uh, ensure that they get locked in and have to stay next to you so you can just beat them up as a knight. Um, okay, there's the hole up. 
but first got quite a few crystal spiders to deal with. And wow, still not enough, huh? All right, there we go. And let's see how we did on loot. An ice cube. I almost made the perfect mammoth earlier, but didn't get quite so lucky. All right. So looks like one or two more crystals before I leave. Uh, apparently, it looks like they want th uh, four, but that's not happening. We're going to go like this and have two at a time, and I'll take them all out eventually. And doing work on the one on the left. And about to take out the other one, and it goes down. And it looks like one more front sweep should annihilate both, and it does just that. So hopefully I've got enough room to pick up all this gold and stuff. And I'm going to switch to the Ring of Healing just for the temporary... Oh, and another Glacier Mask. Nice. So that's my third one, not on this hunt, but total down here, and I've only come here twice. Okay, so what we're going to have to do is start throwing these out and putting gold in there because I have no other place to put it and that's how it's gonna work for me at the moment alright let's see actually I do have another place to put it what am I thinking and we'll put that in there and just some more plate armor. Not really too surprising there. Um, we'll catch up to her and give her a swift death. That's all a witch can really hope for, right? Okay, let's see. And the hole's back up here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And I think I saw like one ice golem. If so, I'm definitely gonna kill him because um, yeah, not one ice golem ice witch with several ice golems. That's fun. Oh well. Easy. And we'll take the witch out and then we're definitely heading up because I'm down to 24 mana pots. And I don't want this lich to witch to lure a shitload of other stuff on me. And wow, the uh, ice golems are being quite nice on their drops. And try to carve the cube. No luck, still. But yeah, let's see the experience per hour now. 140k, so it's between 140 and 150k here for uh, level 77 with 90 to 85 and a pretty good set, so that's not too surprising. At least I don't think so. And we're gonna leave the cave a uh, different way than we came in, just to keep it frilly. All right. And I got a Utora because you need that recovery guys if you're playing a knight or a paladin and you don't use utora or utora grand once you're level 100 i don't know what you're doing you're wasting a lot of mana probably is what you're doing cuz those spells are just absolutely great for <clears throat> saving mana on healing and giving you constant healing so even if you have a bit of a brain dead moment it doesn't always have to mean the end for you and one more exori yep that about did it some more uh, frosty hearts and black pearls sounds appropriate and 
Alright, so the hole is over here, I'm quite sure. And I'm going to switch back to the life ring. Yep, and there's the hole. So, we're going to go ahead and destroy the witch. And no good loot from them, really, other than the turban, which is a blue piece of cloth, which is alright, but it's not amazing. Okay. I want the witch more than I want you. Okay, so that worked out. And another frosty heart. I think that's like, that's quite a few this run, but all right. So we're gonna pop up here and take a look at our kills, uh, only 140 crystal spiders left, 64 ice golems left, so you can see just how quick it gets through it. It's quite nice. And some mammoth tusks, cool. But yeah, I don't know, maybe I'll make this into a two-parter. Uh, just because I really like this area, and I had a good time showing it, and I was having a great time playing in it earlier. But, for now, I guess we'll just go over the overall loot, and that would be, let's see, 2, 5, 7, 725 gold, 3 spider silks, 3 black pearls, 8 strong mana potions, 11 frosty hearts, <clears throat> sorry, want to get to the other spot, uh, glacier mask, mystic turban, night legs, a furry club and a shard and then that's 1300 plus so okay so so far 2k gold and then one 3.7 5.7 7.7 so almost 10k in gold as well as all this other loot that's really kick ass for using 350 mana pots oh gotta kill the wisp but yeah figured I would show you that and for those of you who do not know the reason that you always want to kill wisps is because they have a very very low chance of dropping a moon backpack which they are very very awesome uh, they're awesome looking they're very very cool and it's they're super difficult to get. I don't know what the exact drop rate is on it, but I know it's terribly low. So anyways, thanks for watching guys. I hope you have enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, comment on this video with any feedback you might have for me, and if you haven't already and you enjoy the content I produce, subscribe to my channel. Once again, thanks for watching guys.